magnesium. A normal range for the electrolyte magnesium is about 1.5 to 2.5 milli equivalents per liter. It is primarily found in the skeleton and intracellular fluid. It is the second most abundant intracellular fluid cation. It is vital for intracellular metabolism, particularly involved in the production and use of ATP. It is necessary for protein and DNA synthesis. So what happens when your magnesium is imbalanced? Hypomagnesium. A magnesium deficit with a total serum magnesium less than 1.5 is low. Causes. This could be caused by malnutrition, insufficient magnesium intake, chronic alcoholism, abnormal GI losses, nasogastric tube suctioning, diarrhea, and fistula drainage. It can also happen with long-term use of drugs such as diuretics, aminoglycosides, and antibiotics. Also, having a condition such as pancreatitis and suffering from burns can also cause this. Clinical manifestations. Clinical manifestations in the neurologic system can include irritability and tremors, increased reflexes, convulsions, positive shevets and a positive Trussaud sign, tachycardia, elevated blood pressure, dysrhythmias, disorientation and confusion, vertigo, anorexia, and dysphagia. Laboratory findings. Laboratory findings would show a serum magnesium of 1.5 milliequivalents or lower. You could also see a prolonged PR interval, widened QRS complex, and prolonged QT intervals. You may also see a depressed ST segment, broadened flattened T waves, and a prominent U wave. Nursing management. Nurses want to discontinue magnesium losing medications such as loop diuretics. And if they're if ordered, make sure you call a physician. Also, administer oral sulfate according to protocols. Monitor the client closely when taking oral magnesium. It can cause diarrhea, which can increase magnesium depletion. You also want to encourage foods that are high in magnesium, such as dairy products and dark green vegetables. You also want to assess the client receiving digoxin for signs of digitalis toxicity. Hypomagnesium can increase the risk of toxicity in, with digoxin. You also want to take protective measures for the possibility of a seizure. Now, let's go over some NCLEX cell questions related to magnesium. Question number one. You have been requested to help your patient choose foods that will help raise his magnesium level. His serum magnesium level is 1.4. Which items might be included on his dietary list below? Choose all that apply. A. Bananas B. Fish C. Rice D. Lean beef or E. Chocolate bars Normal magnesium levels ranges from about 1.5 to 2.5. So adding foods high in magnesium would be beneficial. Bananas, seafood, and chocolate are all good resources for magnesium, along with green leafy vegetables, milk, citrus, and fruits. Making the final and correct answer options here A, B, and E, because all of these are high in magnesium. Question number two. You have just received report on your 30-year-old female that was admitted earlier today. You will plan to check the labs that were drawn before arrival because you realize that your patient may have the need for which of the following electrolyte? A. Magnesium B. Calcium C. Potassium or D. Sodium It is important to know that patients with endocrine disorders, especially diabetics, can be at risk for ketoacidosis. Ketoacidosis can also have low magnesium levels. So the making option A correct. In the next video, we're going to go over the electrolyte imbalance of chloride.